Hi, I'm Michael, a landscape designer, and today I'm gonna to share some of my professional expertise with Peter and Jalissa to help them create the perfect landscape plan for their backyard. Then they can take that plan and create the perfect backyard of their dreams. Okay, so first, we'll need a copy of your property plat map, which will show the surveyed boundaries of your lot. Yep, got it yesterday. Oh, great. Did you contact 811 to find any utility lines? Yeah, we got that taken care of. Okay, perfect. Let's notate where the sun rises and sets on your property, which way your house faces, and where any large trees that might cast shadows on your property may be. Once you have all those details on your base map, we can start the landscape design. All right, done and done. Now let's think about your big goals for the yard. Need a paver patio for relaxing with friends or want an area for pets to run around? Or maybe you've got a green thumb and want a garden. Add those goals to your landscape plan, starting with the biggest and moving down. Keep in mind that your outdoor style should complement your indoor style, as well as your home's architecture more modern or traditional. All right, goals added. All right, what's next? Let's get into some of the detailed features like plant beds. Beds with clean lines to find points of interest, while curves tend to look more natural. Try decorating your yard with plants, like you decorate the inside of your house with other items. Pick a few colors that work well together and try to avoid lots of variation in small areas. And make sure it goes well with any existing landscaping. Feel free to mix up textures and size, layer the heights in your beds tallest in back and shortest in front. And here's another tip. Plantings tend to look best when they're done in odd numbers. Keep in mind that plants are gonna grow and need space to reach full maturity. When selecting plants, remember that perennials grow back every season, while annuals will need to be planted each year. What else should we consider in our plants other than the plants and flowers? Let's think about the pathways you want to the different points of interest in your yard. Solid concrete or pavers are a more formal option, while crushed gravel is a softer alternative. Or you can go with stepping stones, which give a natural feel to the land. Just be sure to space them as someone would walk and create a landing every so often so people can stop and enjoy the view. Anything else we should consider? Landscape lighting is another common feature that can have a dramatic impact on your home's appearance. Consider uplights or spotlights for trees, floodlights for plant beds, and path lights to further illuminate the landscape for nighttime ambiance. As with everything we've discussed, it's important to keep maintenance and your budget in mind, as well as how much time you want to spend in the yard taking care of it. Just remember that the best landscaping tip of all is to do what makes you happy and you have the perfect outdoor space to enjoy. Now that you have the perfect plan, it's time to translate that vision into a reality. Now that you see what's possible with the right landscaping plan like Peter and Jalissa did, it's time to pick the appropriate plants and flowers for your area, as well as the availability of lighting and pathway options so you too can create your perfect plan. Just head to your local Lowe's or go online to Lowe's.com and be sure to check out our other spring backyard videos.